In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable Windows 10 installation disk using the Microsoft Media Creation Tool. Now, why would we want to do that? Well, it could be as simple as we want to install or upgrade our Windows. We might want to have a disk that we can boot from so we can do a startup repair on a Windows that isn't booting. Our worst case, which I will show you in this video, is how to restore a system image. And you can see how to create that system image in part one of this two-part series. So let's get into it. The other way you can make the repair disk is to actually make a Windows 10 installation disk, but instead of booting to install Windows, you tell it you want to repair Windows. So to create a Windows 10 install disk, you can just do your web search, and I'm just searching Windows 10 Media Creation Tool, and the top link at Microsoft is Download Windows 10, I do not want to do an upgrade now. I want to create Windows 10 installation media. And here is how you download the tool. And I will just save it to the desktop. So I have the Windows media creation tool downloaded and I just threw it into a folder on the desktop. And let me launch it here. You do need admin rights to do this, so I'm going to say yes. And it's getting a few things ready. I'll bring you back when it's got those few things ready. I have got to accept the license terms and read the applicable notices. So everybody make sure you get this. Everybody get that? I accept. And it's still getting a few things ready. All right, so now it's asking me what I want to do. Do I want to upgrade my PC right now? No, I do not. I want to create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO. Actually, I'm going to do a USB flash drive. Uh, by default here, it is going to create a Windows 10 bootable media. And I'm just going to go with recommended settings. If I uncheck that, I could choose a different language or I could pick the 32-bit version of Windows 10. None of which I want. I want English 64. Now, by default, it wants me to put in a USB flash drive, at least 8 gigabytes in size. That's what I have in the drive right now. Uh, you would create an ISO if you were going to burn an image to a DVD disc. An ISO is a compressed image of an entire DVD. Or if you were going to use a third-party utility to make a bootable USB memory stick, such as uh, Yummy or Rufus or something like that. I don't want to do that. Uh, Windows will make this USB flash drive bootable if I choose this option, so I am going to hit Next. And here is the USB drive. Just to warn you, this USB drive will get formatted. Everything on it is going to get erased. Let me hit Next here and get it going. And once again, getting a few things ready. Now, the longest part here is it has to download Windows 10 before it can format and start writing it to the memory stick. So rather than us sitting here all the way through this exciting progress, 2%, 4%, I'll tell you what, I'll bring you back. So the media creation tool is further along. It has downloaded the Windows 10 media and it is now writing it to my USB memory stick. And this is quite a bit faster than the download. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And we are 99% there. Yes, it looks like it just finished. And I should have a bootable Windows 10 installation media. Let's see. All right, I've got my Windows 10 installation media USB stick I just made. I'm going to hit the power button on the HP over here as I go old school. And then I have to hit escape to abort the normal boot. Come on, baby, you can do it. There we are. 
and I can hit F9 for a one-time boot menu. And there's the USB memory stick as a boot choice. I'll move down to it and press enter. And I should be booting into the Windows 10 installation media. Now this goes considerably faster than booting from a DVD drive. So I will bring you back. We are booted into the Windows setup screen. I'm going to hit next, but now instead of saying install, I'm going to say repair your computer. Now, once I've done that, I can go to troubleshoot and then I can say system image recovery, but that would work a lot better if I hook the USB hard drive with the image on it up to the computer. All right. I've got my USB hard drive hooked up here. So now let's try system image recovery for Windows 10, just like before. And it's going to search for my backup images. I can see it's accessing my external USB hard drive. So in just a moment, it should come up and find that image I made earlier today. Yes, sirree. Sure will. Anytime now. And there it is. It found my image that I created on 6-7-2021 from my computer and I could hit next to start the recovery process. Once again, I don't want to overwrite my hard drive, but this is how you would do it. You would hit next. I'm going to hit cancel. And that's going to do it on how to create a Windows 10 USB installation disk and how to use it to recover a system image of your full hard drive. If you didn't see part one on how to create that image, please check it out. And from everybody here at The Nerd, thanks a lot.